Hey guys, it's Miss B. I wanted to go ahead and show you really quickly on how you can be um, submitting your assignments. I got several questions on it over the weekend, so just wanted to go ahead and try and help you guys out as best as I can and um, also help your parents make sure that you know you're getting your stuff submitted. So first you're on the Jameson School page, you'll go to Faculty, find my name, okay, and then you're in our e-learning tab. So you have the starting video right here where you'd watch and then you're going to select an activity to complete. So when you're doing this, let's say you've watched the video and then you're getting ready to submit your assignment. So you're going to click the link for your homeroom, you sign in with your first and last name and the code is automatically filled in for you. So let's say I'm going to go ahead and I will do the advanced class. So my code's already filled in, I type in my name first and last, it's very important because um, some of you guys have uh, the same first name, and that's why it's very important for you to type in your last name as well. You'll hit go. The slide loads for you to be able to start filling out the assignment. Now, once you close out, your assignment is submitted. So it's very important that as you're going along, uh, filling it out, keep the tab open, don't close it. Um, because if you open it again, it's just going to create a new window, even if you type in your first and last name. That's why you should only try and work through one assignment at a time. So let's say that you want a text box and you're saying that this is a structure based on our video. And then you have another text box you're gonna do right here and you're gonna say that it is a physical characteristic. You can change the size of your text box. You can change the size of your text. Maybe I'll move that. Now I'm going to make the text smaller. Oh, struggling a little bit. That's okay. That's why we're all learning this together, guys. Okay, so I've got my little box. I can move it now. Once I see that. A physical characteristic. Okay, of a plant or animal's body that helps it survive. And you can draw your connection. So let's say that you want to use your pencil and you could say, oh, well, here's a picture of Frankie and he has webbed feet. Doop. And here's another leg. Doo, doo, doo. Again, just like I say in class, it doesn't have to be the most beautiful art, <laughs> but you know, just putting forth that effort to show what you're working on. So let's say I get through with the whole entire assignment, I filled in all my boxes, I've drawn all my connection pieces. Once you've done that, the the screen is already under your name, so you don't have to worry about writing your name again anywhere on the paper, which is great for me <laughs> and also great for you. Um, because then um, once I get over to the teacher's tab, I can go ahead and see, oh, Melissa Briggs submitted an assignment and I can go ahead and start to grade it. What I will do once I have um, given you your points is I'm going to go ahead and send a Skyward email to your parents letting them know you got points for your assignment, you completed an assignment. Now, if you are just clicking through and you're not getting the assignment complete, let's say you only do this first row and then you close it. Maybe it's an accident, maybe not, okay? But then you would have to come back and you would need to finish the assignment. I will not be giving credit if you only do the first line. That's, that's not really helping you very much, okay? You need to be sure you're getting the assignment done and then turning it in. Like I said, if it's an accident, it's no big deal, you're just gonna have to reopen the assignment. You will have to start over at that point. It's not saving your progress because once you close it, this, and you, you've submitted the assignment. Um, and if you've just clicked through the assignment and then you close it, yes, it's submitted, but you can still create a new one. Let's say that um, you got confused and you closed out of the window. You can open a new one and say, oh, okay, well, I'll just go ahead. I'll submit the new one. Let's say Melissa Briggs. No, she didn't complete her assignment. Oh, actually perfect. Great, I learned something new just now. You need to type your name in exactly how you typed it before so you can pull up the same assignment and then you can keep working on it, okay? So then you would keep going, perfect, awesome. See, we all learn something new all the time. Uh, so <laughs> this is why we're learning all this together, that's okay. So be sure that you type your name in exactly as you have it typed. Don't change it. Don't forget your last name. You need first and last typed every time so you can keep pulling up your assignment. Um, I think that about covers it. If you have any questions, please feel free. Um, ask a question on the comment section, anything like that. But 
Hopefully this helps. Just know that once you close it out, I'm automatically able to see any strokes, anything you type on this page automatically goes to my teacher side of it over here. And so I'll start entering in points and then I'm gonna send a Skyward email to your parents. So if your parents don't get a Skyward email from me, that means that you either aren't finished with the assignment and I'm letting you have more time because you're gonna have the whole week to work on any one assignment, um, or you like submitted it and you didn't do it and you don't get points if you didn't do it. So, so yeah, um, but again, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Hope that this is helpful. You guys keep working hard. I know this is all very new. I know it's a little bit stressful, but um, just keep being awesome. I'll see you guys later.